In the circuit shown, all the resistors are identical. The reading is 8 volt. Okay, here's where I'm going to write something. 8 volt means EMF is 8. V2 is 1 volt. What are the readings on all the other voltmeters? This is like a solving puzzle kind of question. We could say, all right, let's start with, let's start with this clump here. These are all identical resistors, right? They all have the same resistance. You have R, I have R. So if you look at the ratio, if you have R, you take one vote. I also have R, I also take one vote. So all this is one vote, one vote, one vote, one vote. Then, this line is parallel with this fella. So this entire line is two volts, which means this reading here is two volts. And this one has to be whatever resistor that is, uh, R, <laughs> something like that. Okay, so we just want to get the reading. So two volts and one one. Now the rest, this one, we have to do a bit more careful analysis. Let me redraw this whole circuit. We have the battery. Uh, the first resistor on the left, R, the R, and then I combine all this, okay? I combine this whole thing. It is combined. So 8 volts is shared between three groups, R, R, and a whole bunch of stuff here. This one we already know takes up 2 volts. So the rest of these fellow have how much left? 8 minus 2? Six volts left, left for them to share between themselves. And the last step is, hey look, we have the same resistance again. So if this whole thing is six volts, oh, you same resistance, okay, now we share, share. You take three, I take three. So this will be three volts. This one also, three volts. Ah. So actually, uh, for V2, what is it, V4? V4, two volts. We can already choose the answer, but we can double check to make sure V3 is 3. It's like puzzle solving. So practice a bit questions like this. How to find the voltage at different locations. Make sure you add them correctly and be careful with assumptions. All right, that's all for this question.